This is Mondo World made using GLSL. After just a few short tutorials, you will be able to make this and understand the code behind it. In the first tutorial, you're going to learn how to control part of the screen using data from an LFO. In the second tutorial, we will create this grid. You will be able to control the thickness and the amount of lines. In the third tutorial, we're creating Mendel Broad. Let's start with the first tutorial. As usual, I will delete everything and we will start from scratch. First thing we're going to need is an LFO. Uh, you can place it here. Then connect a math up to it and set the range to minus one to one because the LFO, if we turn this, make this a bit slower, it goes from minus one to one and we just want a value from uh, 0 to 1. You'll see why later. Uh, now you can press tab and go to top and search for GLSL. Place this. Uh, we're going to common and make this 1080 by 1080. Um, and then you can go into this and click viewer active. Now we can interact with it and type stuff. So there's already some code in here. Uh, basically what's happening is for every pixel we have, uh, this script gets run. So we currently have a resolution of 1080 by 1080. So 1080 times 1080 times 60 frames per second, this uh, script get run, gets run. So that's quite a lot, but it gets run on the GPU. And the GPU is really efficient in running super, uh, like a lot of small scripts um, and that's why it can be really powerful um, the first thing we're going to do is change this uh, value and you can see what happens if we turn it to 0 0.5 uh, the brightness goes down um, so we can control the brightness and the intensity or the color so 0.0, .0 is black um, and one is white and we're going to connect our um, LFO value to this. Uh, we can go to the GLSL top and go to vectors. And I'm going to call this uniform. I'm going to call it sign. I don't know why it's called uniform, but that's just how it works. You can click this viewer active and drag this onto the value and do chop reference. And now we can access this value in our code by uh, adding it on top of here by typing uniform float sign and close it with a um, semicolon. Uh, the float is just for floating point number. Um, so a floating point number is just um, something with uh, that can take decimal numbers. So if we were to change this to int integer it can only be one or two or three or only round numbers so because our value here is going uh, at a decimal uh, place we need a float so change this back to floats and now we can uh, we have this variable that's being updated every frame and we can place it into this and now you can see our brightness is controlled by the LFO. Uh, if we make this faster, we get a strobe. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back to one for now because I'm going to explain a new uh, thing. So every pixel gets a coordinate. coordinate. Um, so this uh, bottom left is zero, zero, and this is one, one. So uh, how we can access the, it is by typing v u v dot x or dot y so uh, because this script gets run for every pixel uh, every time uh, it's run v u v is something something else so if we're at the middle pixel so if it's calculating this one uh, v u v dot x will be 0 0.5 and v u v dot y uh, will be uh, 0 0.52 so now what we can do is we can make an if statement. So if um, vuv dot x uh, is smaller than 0 0.5, uh, then do the following. So 
Um, what this does is it checks if the current value of view v.x is smaller than 0 0.5. And if that's the case, we can do something. Um, I'm just going to copy this in here and we're going to see what this does. Uh, let's see. Uh, I need... Oh, wait. We need to make one adjustment. We need to copy this over here and change this to 0, 0.0. And then copy it again in here and delete fact four. So we're creating a color here. So we're creating 0, 0.0 above. And then on all the pixels that are lower than 0, 0.5, uh, so that's the left half, uh, we will assign the color of one. And we can also do uh, another if statement if v u v dot y is bigger than 0 0.5 um, we can say color equals fac for let's do something else let's do 1.0 uh, 0 .0, 0 0.0 and 1.0 and now something else will happen. It will break uh, because let's see why is it pixel nineteen? Ah, we need a closing. And now uh, everything above um, vuv dot y zero point five. So if it's greater than zero point five, we start at zero point. Uh, we start at zero zero here. And we go above and if we reach 0 0.5 we will make every pixel red because you can what we just did is um make uh, just if you just fill in the first value it makes all of them one and this is uh, the r r g and b and this is the opacity so uh, by only enabling the r um so if we change this to green, it will be green. And now we're controlling um, parts of the screen. Uh, for now, I'm going to delete this. And we can adjust this to sign. And we have the result we wanted for this tutorial. If anything was unclear and you want to have a look in this file yourself, this file is up on my Patreon. Uh, this also really supports me as these tutorials tend to uh, take quite a lot of time. Next time we're going to dive into this uh, grid uh, as I showed earlier. This basically works in the same way. Uh, we're going to s check with an if statement if uh, a certain line is between a view v dot x or y value and then we'll give it a color uh, white. Uh, this is a bit more complicated, but I will take you through it and I hope you uh, continue because the video after that will be Mandelbrot and it won't be a huge step from this to this.